recycling is part of the daily routine in households across America. And in this week's Go Green, Fox 31 meteorologist Carrie Capello looks at the alternative materials that can be recycled right here in southwest Georgia. Explored the process of what happens to cans after you drop them off for recycling, but those aren't the only materials that can be dropped off at Southeastern Aluminum Recycling. The first step is to pull up to the window and drop off your materials. After materials are sorted, we take the bins and we take them right here to the bike, to the bike man by here. That where most of all the material you go with. Along with aluminum, Southeastern Aluminum Recycling also collects cardboard and plastic. Outside where they eat. Run the cardboard, build the cardboard, build the uh, shredded paper. Tons and tons of cardboard are dropped off at locations like these every single day. One bale of cardboard weighs about 2,000 pounds. Now I'm talking about the team, we get a lot of business. Around 1,000 pounds of plastic are received a day. People are starting to recycle. Local schools are taking part as well. So we're trying to educate the students so we will have a better effort going. And we uh, do cans and bottles and paper and shred and cardboard. Recyclables that can't be brought to this facility aren't any less important. You may just have to bring them somewhere else. And they picked up 12,000 pounds in 2011 of magazines and things that we cannot bring here. Don't let that deter you though. A lot of common items can be recycled here, so sort through your trash at home and bring them to Southeastern Aluminum Recycling. From Monday through Saturday from 8.30 to 5. With this week's Go Green, Carrie Capello, Fox 31 News.